What's up guys? Big Gay Optimus Prime here. So, some folks tell me that, okay? I'm just repeating what is said to me sometimes on YouTube, all right? That's on my other channel primarily. Uh, they say that sometimes when I'm narrating over videos, it sounds like that, okay? So that's, that's what that has to do with. But, the show must go on, you guys. Okay, so... Path of Diablo. Uh, finally. It's about Muller fucking time, bro. Uh, the ladder has been announced to reset, okay? August 2nd. Of this year, 2019. This will be Season 8, I believe. Path of Diablo Season 8. Yeah, you heard it here. Feist, you heard it here last. I don't give a shit. Yeah, this video is a little late, but uh, folks were commenting about it. I think yesterday, maybe two days ago, this was announced. I'm not sure when, but I mean, I didn't know when it was going to restart, man. Uh, I know there's been a lot of questions in the Path of Diablo community as to when the fuck is this going to restart. Um, yeah, it's been very extended, uh, this current ladder, apparently. But, man, I guess they got shit together and they decided to reset it on August 2nd, okay? So be ready for that. Ice Daddy's gonna be playing that some. I mean, I don't know how deep I'm gonna go in it, okay? Like, I found all the godly's last ladder, basically. The thing is, even though this should be, like, perfect timing because, uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. Although I did my own personal ladder reset that some of you guys saw. I made several videos on that. I just made a new account on Path of Diablo on this current season. And I didn't touch anything from my other account that was on the same season. I just started finding the gear over again. Uh, so I kind of already felt the excitement over the ladder reset a bit in doing that. But the thing is, also, I've been playing this, Bria. Uh, this is uh, Diablo Belzebub. And this is the uh, version where we can play online. Fortunately, uh, Baza really helped me out with this. He walked me through this shit oh, on how to get this uh, going, the multiplayer thing. But actually, here's another question I have for some of you guys out there. Uh, because I know some of you play this. But a few of you, I think, actually go as far as to play the weird versions that you download for multiplayer. But man... I don't think this version that I'm playing right now has uh, the Arcane Sanctuary or the uh, Chamber of Bone. Uh, and to our understanding, this is the latest version. I know this is like 1.6 or some something like that. Uh, and from the directions we found online, you know, it was said that this is the latest version, I believe. So, I mean, do you guys know what the fuck's going on with this? Like, why can't we go in the Arcane Sanctuary? I haven't seen it. And plus, you can't read any of the book... Uh, tombs, and I'm wondering if that's like some weird glitch, but I mean, which version are we supposed to be playing, man? Like, I'm down for downloading a different version if it's a little less buggy, maybe, and if more folks are on it. Like, I see these public games, but I can't join them because they're uh, all playing this a different version. Uh, I can't remember what version it is, but yeah, let me know if you guys uh, have looked into that at all. You know, what version exactly are we supposed to be playing that's the latest version for online bells above that's the least buggy and that has all the good stuff in it let me know in the comments if you guys have any freaking clue but beyond that uh back to path of diablo yeah that's the thing man is i've been so damn into this bells above mod i haven't uh considered slowing down at all like i want to make a sorcerer and a few other characters and now path of diablo is resetting two weeks from now so it's going to be a crossroads, man. Uh, it's kind of hard to play both, but maybe I'll try them a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna make a character, you know, probably Jabazon or something. Go hybrid with Bo just for fun uh, for Path of Diablo. So let me know what you guys are going to be playing as when the ladder resets on August 2nd. Uh, assuming you're going to be playing it. You're going to be playing it, right? And I'm going to uh, link in the description of this video, Green Dudes. Path of Diablo patron account, alright? Uh, there's a lot of folks still supporting him, but I know he lost some supporters over the past month or two. I think there's just a tendency, you know, where the following starts to diminish as the uh, 
latter season goes on, you know, because just less people are playing, so people probably be like, screw this, I'm not going to uh, contribute money to this anymore, I'm not even playing. But when the ladder resets, I would guess, you know, there's good potential there to get a bit of a spike in his patronage, and it's it's good to help him out, man. Um, of course, I want you guys to help me out, too, you know, give me some uh, some of your patronage as well, but I suppose in this video, I'll advertise his first, you know, um, because this game is so toad, uh, the Diablo 1 and 2, especially really digging uh, Diablo 1 now with this new mod. You guys gotta check this out if you haven't got the bells of a mod. But yeah, support Green Dude if you want, you know, he's one of the uh, main contributors to uh, Path of Diablo. So the more, you know, monies we can get him, the more incentive he gonna be having to, uh, continually make Diablo 2 better. And that's exactly what Path of Diablo did, brah. I'm not even kidding you guys. I know a lot of you guys have played it already. Kind of preaching to the choir here, but I know there's newbies who come by as well who maybe haven't uh, played a Diablo 2 mod. You know, you just straight up think, oh, Diablo 2 is the most Toad game ever. And uh, I don't know why I'm using the word Toad right now, because I just started watching this guy's video, and he hasn't even said it yet. And he's the one who likes to say the word Toad when it comes to what is Toad as fuck. But... Maybe there's some sort of pathological shit going on here. I don't know, but uh, needless to say, man, yeah, y'all gotta check that shit out. And if you haven't played Path of Diablo yet, it really is the best way to play Diablo 2. You got a toad stash, uh, you got uh, new balancing things, uh, the hammer den has been fucked. Uh, up the air, so yeah, he, uh, you don't you don't see a saturation of the hammerdens anymore, right? There are far less hammerdens just dominating the ladder. In fact, I don't recall seeing like any, uh, because a lot of the characters have uh, been reworked and their skills have been reworked. So yeah, it's uh, it's a great way to go. All right, Path of Diablo and support Green Dude if you guys want. Uh, but here's what I'm kind of interested in. Ooh, check this out. See this right here? Uh, that is what marks the greedy guys, I think. There's there's bosses in uh, Diablo 1, just like there are in Diablo 2, and champions and stuff. And I think the green light surrounds the greedy ones. The greedy ones can drop up to five rares. Let's go check it out. Yeah, that's a greedy one right there. That's a greedy one right there. All right. Firewall on him. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's still alive. Watch all the rares. That's a lot of rares sometimes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's go ID some of these things. But, where was I at? Uh... Yeah, what also kind of intrigues me about this whole ladder reset for Path of Diablo is uh, how there are like some patch notes and a new patch apparently. Uh, patch 17, I think is what it was called. And I have no idea uh, what's to be expected with this patch. Like, uh, I wonder if they're making some big changes, man. I just have no idea. So... Let me know if you guys have any uh, insight on that, all right? Uh, that would be epic if they uh, add new stuff, you know, do some skill revisions, uh, maybe even new content. I know uh, a tier five was in the talks because right now there are uh, four tiers in terms of the end game content. Um, and they're quite difficult, you know, they really challenge your character. That's another thing that makes uh, Path of Diablo so toad is how challenging the end game content can be so that's a great way to go especially the diablo clone that's a makes for a gg battle yeah where's that ring Ooh, magic find not a bad amulet okay but anyway still uh started using this bow there's uh it's a good way to go i think although in nightmare mode and hell mode i think they have some physical resistance but i don't know how much but nonetheless, it's probably far less than what they generally have in terms of lightning resistance. So this is pure physical damage now. See that? 
335 DPS. So I think ultimately that's probably on average better than that lightning damage bow that I was using for a while, but I don't know. But yeah, like this video if you guys will, and let me know if you're going to be playing Path of Diablo. Uh, Iceman definitely will be. Alright, let me know the character you're going to be playing as. And are you excited? Or, or did it take so damn long for this ladder to reset? Was it last reset in February? Did it take so long that you're not really excited anymore? And can you get excited again? You know, now that you know it's happening. Alright, August 2nd. Alright. With a new patch. And uh, the information on the patch notes, according to Green Dude, I think on his post he made, um, is that they should be out a week before the reset. And then the final revision of them should be out like within like uh, two days of the reset, I think. But we'll see if all that comes to fruition in that proposed manner, okay? So like this video, uh, become a patron for the Iceman if you want to. Thank you to my patrons. Peace be with you.